Hi friends, welcome to this new video. So today we are going to discuss about the subject microprocessor and embedded systems. My name is Arun Sevier and this subject is mainly for S5 AAA students under KTU Kerala. So here in this subject we are going to mainly discuss about the microprocessors and microcontrollers and which are the two categories in the embedded processors and some portions of embedded systems are also discussing in this subject. The main objective of this course and uh, to get a strong foundation about the principles, programming and the various applications of the microprocessors and microcontrollers. And we can now check the, what are the course outcomes that we will get after studying this course. So it's about to get the fundamentals of the assembly language programming of 8085 microprocessor and the microcontroller 8051 and how to work with the standard microprocessors in the real-time interface then develop a skills for writing programs for the 8051 microcontroller and design some by microprocessor or microcontroller based systems now we can go to the module 1 so in module 1 we are going to discuss about the internal architecture instruction sets and addressing modes of 8085 microprocessor then the classification of instructions that means um, uh, adding instructions uh, logical instructions mathematical instructions etc like that then assembly language programming how we can write a simple assembly language program and code conversion program sorting and uh, binary and bcd arithmetic etc so this is about the first module then now we can check the module 2 and it's about stack and subroutines call and return functions delay subroutine then different type of cycles mission cycle insertion cycle uh, t state fetch state fetch and execute cycle etc then the timing diagram for each insertions now we can move to the third module and it's about the interfacing memory and io interfacing then how the address is decoding in 8085 then the interrupt structure of 8085 there's an another IC 8255 and its mode of operation and that IC is called programmable peripheral interface and is short form as PPI IC so we are calling it as PPI 8255 so its structure mode of insertion etc we need to study that also in module 3 then how we can connect LEDs and ADC and DAC with 8085 that means the interfacing of these items to the 8085 then in fourth module we are going to discuss about the embedded systems and its applications features characteristics then microprocessors microcontrollers challenges trends etc then the life cycle management uh, there are two or three models there then tool chain system that is assemblers uh, decompilers uh, loaders etc that type of things so, and this fourth module is about actually embedded systems then about the fifth module it's about the microcontrollers so in microcontrollers we need to study about the architecture of the microcontroller 8051 uh, register organization general purpose ram bit addressable ram special function registers instruction set and addressing modes then about the last and sixth module we are discussing about the assembly language programming and data type and derivatives of 8051 then timer or counter programming and serial port programming interfacing with lcd adc step promoter dac etc with the 8051 and these are the textbook uh, we are using for this course and this is the custom paper pattern usually asked by the university thank you all for watching this video